like to be a plus. CDs ain't no need to think head over heels, get A plus feels. New Activia Plus with nutrients to help support your immune system. Start with Activia. Your gut is where it all begins. Age before beauty? Why not both? Visibly diminished wrinkled skin in just two days. Crate Corrector Lotion, only from Gold Bond. Champion your skin. To all the pet project starters, weekend gardeners, rollover artists, and kitchen a la cartists, there's a new lifestyle destination for your next inspiration. Bam! Dabble. Go there. Do that. Available over the air on Channel 2.3. All day simmering Sunday sauce. Next, Drew. Live from the CBS Broadcast Center in Los Angeles, this is CBS 2 News This Morning at 5. And good morning. Today is Friday, March 4th. Welcome to CBS 2 News This Morning at 5. And we're streaming on CBS News Los Angeles. I'm Amy Johnson. And I'm Rachel Kim. Suzanne and DeMarco are off this morning. There's a lot going on in your world today. Here's your SoCal Eye Opener. Well, it's a big day for L.A. County. Indoor mask mandates are now lifted. What you need to know before heading out today. Okay, just the damage of the vehicle into, into a block wall. Plus, breaking news, two people are killed in a violent crash overnight. Overnight rain causing slick roads this morning. The wet weather in the forecast ahead. And terrifying developments in Ukraine. The Russian military takes over a nuclear plant. How the president of Ukraine is responding this morning. But we want to start off with a check of the weather. Yes, Alex Vissen joins us in studio. Good morning, Alex. Good morning. Driving to work today, you know, I was expecting just, you know, a lot of water on the roadways, but surprise. You know, and it really depends on where you are, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. and Amy as well. I mean, because we've got the, the scattered showers through the day, some of us may see the rain and some of us may not. And that is kind of what is happening with this system. So we've got an area of low pressure. It is moving on shore today. It will continue to move eastward and it will bring us the chance for some rain showers as well as snow showers up in the higher elevations. So let's zoom you in now because uh, we are seeing some snowfall up into the San Bernardino and Los Angeles County Mountains. So uh, for this morning, well, temperatures on the cool side. Grab a jacket before you leave the house. We've got temperatures mostly in the 50s. Once we head into this afternoon, we'll still be below average with temperatures topping out in the lower 60s. Most of the shower activity ex expected to dwindle down once we head into the afternoon hours, although we are keeping the chance for some thunderstorms to develop through the morning and into the afternoon hours. Now I'm tracking a second system. We'll talk about the impacts from that. What we can expect this weekend and next week, too, that's coming up very soon. For now, we'll send it back to you. All right, thanks so much, Alex. And as we just heard from Alex, it's a rainy and cold start to this Friday morning for a lot of folks. Yeah, CBS 2's Tina Patel is live in Glendale, where it's pretty chilly this morning. Good morning, Tina. Good morning. A little bit chilly, but thankfully right now it is dry here. There were some scattered showers here overnight, and as Alex was just saying, that looks to be the case as we continue through the morning. Let's show you a little bit of video. Sky 2 actually got caught in a pretty heavy downpour late last night, and it was not only rain, they actually had to land because that storm brought a lot of lightning and it made it dangerous to fly. Now overnight, Reseda was one of the areas where we saw some heavy showers. It made driving hazardous because even after that storm moved through, there was some flooding left behind on the roads. And we can expect more periods of rain and even some wind today. Then, as Alex was saying, another storm system tomorrow that's going to be colder. That could mean more snow for our local mountains. I know a lot of people are excited about that possibility. As we come back out here live, I will say compared to where we were a couple days ago, it is much cooler. So as you head out the door, probably want to grab that jacket, maybe with a hood and also carry that umbrella just in case, because as we know, things are constantly changing here. Also, depending on where you live, we'll send it back to you. So true, Tina. Thank you so much. Breaking news in El Sereno, two men are dead and another in critical condition after this violent crash there. Police say it happened around 1245 on Valley Boulevard at the northbound 710 freeway off ramp. We're told the car was exiting the freeway when it crashed into a fence and a concrete wall. They believe the driver may have been speeding at the time. More breaking news in Lawndale, where a car slammed into a building and the building caught fire. Now that car ended up all the way inside that salon on 164th and Hawthorne Boulevard. It appears that fire.